Hi Darlene, uh, Cormac here from the TrackX team. I'm just going to show you how, very simply how you can make a, a mix of five or six tracks for your daughter. So here is the media browser, so it finds all the media on your hard drive. So wherever you download your tracks, here's my iTunes library. So I just go to where my iTunes library is on my hard drive and uh, select it. So I'll just go down and pick some songs. So here I have a uh, print, so I'm just going to use some Prince tracks. So let's say I want uh, the first track of the routine to be this. So I can just drag and drop it into the mixing screen. It'll just parse away. And once it's parsed, it's in the mixing screen. And I think one of the main things, uh, the most important thing to to explain to you is that at the moment it's bound to a global tempo. So you just want the track to play at its normal detected BPM. So what you want to do is just unclick on the enable beat syncing button. So once you click on the enable click on it, the track will now play at its normal speed. So if I click play it'll play at its normal speed. And now what I can do is I can lengthen and shorten the track. So if I wanted it to make it longer or shorter. So let's say I wanted it actually to I wanted that to play at the beginning there, let's say. I can just move it over there and then you can see that that's when the new track will play. So I'm happy with that and I can just move it and I can adjust the starts and end times of the track by just grabbing the beginning and end of each track. So so that's the first track in and the track will play nicely. Now let's say I want to add in a second track. Again I can preview it and then I can just drag and drop it into a new channel. and again I just unlock the BPM like so so the track plays at its normal BPM and then I can just bring it in and play it another part of the track so I can adjust the length the cutoff where to come in when to where, where to stop and I can always grab the play bar to hear it and zoom in using my scroll wheel on my mouse to get a tight cut so I'm just scrolling with my mouse wheel there just to get exactly where I want it to to cut and then I can just drag it over like so. I can also bring it up onto another channel like so and I can actually cross fade them so the two tracks will actually fade into each other. So, so the two tracks will fade in. Now if I want to bring in another track, track 3, again I can bring it into its new track or I can bring it in to the track that already has audio on it. Like so. And again, I can find the part where I want it to start and end. So let's say I would actually like it to start around here. So I'm kind of happy with that. I can always grab the play bar and listen to it again. Okay, so I want to start there. I can just take the beginning and bring it to there. And then if I wanted it to fade into the other track, I can just then grab it. And then the two tracks will fade in together. And because this is unsynced on this track, you don't have to worry about unsyncing it. Everything on this track is going to play at its normal tempo once this button is unclicked. So it's just a very simple process. Another thing you could do is actually double click on the track, like so, and it brings it into the track cutter. And the track cutter is an editor, so you can actually edit an area of a track. So let's say I want to just take this area, so I hold down the shift key on my keyboard and the left button of my mouse and I create a selection. So now only this area in the selection will play. So you can make perfect cuts, like so. So I only want to use that part of the track. And then I can just copy and then paste it into my mix. So there, that on only that little track has been cut and placed into the mixing screen. So it's really you can adjust the length of each track within the mixing screen or you can double click on it in the track order to make a cut and bring it in that way. Uh, I hope this helps, and if you've got any questions at all, Darlene, please don't hesitate to contact me. All the best. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.